what's going on YouTube? This is Jose over at Spider Spider Tumblers coming back at you with another unboxing video. So on today's unboxing video, I have a huge, huge box that looks like it came from CGC, but it didn't. Um, so shout out to Grant's Comics on Instagram. I'll link his little info down here. But Grant's always been hooking me up with these killer deals since day one. I think I've been dealing with him for almost two years now. And he's always giving me some killer deals. Here recently, he's been giving me deals on some slabs. And I couldn't thank him enough because he's always giving me the option to kind of do payment plans and stuff like that. Because if, if you guys see this haul here, there is a lot of books. But not only that, he has given me such great deals that I, I can't even say no. I mean, these things are just the prices he puts out on them. I couldn't get out there to CGC fast enough, even at some of these books. May not have the value in them however people will see them because they're books that i like to collect which is vampirilla red sonia's and such and such sacred six all them other uh lady covers some people may not see that that uh investment in there for them but you know the way it is at cgc you're looking at easily 20 some odd dollars just to grade it by the time you do shipping and everything else so you're looking at an arm and a leg for all these books. He gives me such a great deal that I, I may end up keeping just the 9 8s because I need to start kind of moving around my collection. I have a lot of the same covers over and over, but when I get a 9 8, I need to start releasing some of these 9 4, 9 6s, maybe even 9 2s I think that I have, um, just so I can keep you know the moderns around 9 8s, even worst case 9 6s. I don't believe Grant gets his stuff cleaned and pressed. I could be wrong, so that might be why some of these come out 9496. He may just grab them and send them. Um, but again, I couldn't beat the deal, and he's always given me uh, an easy way to pay you know, for, uh, within time and all that stuff. So shout out to Grant's Comics. Thank you so much for everything you did. So here we go. I get to show off some of the books. I did set the tape because the box looked a little damaged at the time, so I wanted, I, and I knew what the grades were. And I knew what the books were going to be, so it wasn't like it was going to be a big surprise to me. But the box looked a little beat up, so I just wanted to make sure nothing was damaged. But um, So let's go ahead and go on to the unboxing part of this. So I like the way he's always sending me these comic portfolio boxes. So Zenscope has these nice little things here that you can store your books in. Um, and, and I just really enjoy these. He sent them to, uh, to me before, so this is Zari. So like the game Zari. Um, so he sent them to me before. I really do enjoy them. I haven't found a, a use for them yet because I just kind of started just collecting them, I guess is, is what you say. He had some loose books in here, so I was really happy about that. He uh, sent me some freebies. So I put them inside this box while we were, while I was unboxing and all that stuff. So the books he sent me was Oz number one, Heart of Magic. It always the, uh, the Wizard of Oz type homage covers. Always like the way they... They go with that kind of style. And then we got a couple of raw books. <laughs> no pun intended, but Lady Raw. And then we have uh, number four. So Lady Raw Hide is what I should have said. So there we go. So next we have Ariola. Or the Warrior Nun. I always want to say it a different way. So it always sounds like I'm saying something else that I shouldn't be saying. But there we go. Nice little cover there. Really, really enjoy that one. Number two from our, uh, Antarctic Press, or not Antarctic, but uh, yeah, it is Antarctic. So then we have a nice virgin cover of a vampirilla eating some birthday cake. So I'm sure this is some kind of birthday issue, but let's see what it is. I know a lot of people know these covers and all that by just looking at them, but here we go. We have. Slab Heroes exclusive color cover, and uh, Mulligan, Mulligan, something, something. But there we go. Oh, but really, really nice cover. That, that would be a nice cover to get in the slab. So there we go. Last but not least, on the Raws, we got another Wizard of Oz issue one of six. Real nice cover, Diamond Retailer uh, Summit exclusive. Really, really nice cover. Really, just really love the way they do these uh, Wizard of Oz homage covers. So there we go. So I believe that was going to be the raw books in here. He has another box. I didn't put nothing in it, so good, good, good. So it has a uh, battle scope. <laughs> so this is kind of like the battleship 
for us that know the video games, uh, not the video games, but the board games back in the day, here's your battleship. Obviously, the other one was supposed to be Sorry, but it was called Zari. So those were the raw boats. So on to the slabs. In no particular order, I'm just going to go from front, I mean back to front, or however you want to call it. But here we go. We have a Sacred Six cover. So this is Sacred Six number nine. This is the Virgin Sketch Edition in a 9.8. Really, really great looking cover. There we go. So that was the first book. I'm going to kind of go through these a little bit quicker since I didn't want to make this video that long. And I think there is a ton, ton of books in here to go through. So let's go ahead and show off book number two. So we have another Sacred Six number nine. This is the Andan, uh, An Anaslito Virgin Sketch Edition. There we go. And I'm always horrible with these names. So I know I'm going to butcher a few of them. So there we go. And if I remember correctly, every book came in great condition. So Grant packed them up perfectly. And of course, it was in a CGC box, but that doesn't mean they're always safe. So the next, we got the Sonia Versal, number four. This is the variant cover B. Real nice cowboy looking cover. In a 9.8 as well. So there we go. And we're going to have the next book is going to be uh, good old Newton Rings. I know everybody loves Newton Rings. So we got A Vengeance of Vampirilla, Volume 2, Number 18. And this is just a nice little cover there in a 9.6. I believe I do have that one as well, but I, I don't know if it's another 9.6 or not. That's what I'm kind of saying is that I need to kind of liquidate a little bit. Probably move these 9.6s and stuff. And then uh, we have a Sacred Six number 9. We have a Lu a Lau Virgin Edition. This is a crazy looking cover. Sacred Six always does some amazing covers. I'm trying to get you guys less clear, but that's not working out for me. Yeah, there you go. Next, we have a Red Sonia, black, and, black, white, and red, number one. And this is going to be a Perilio Virgin Sketch Edition. Really loving these Sketch Edition covers. The only thing I'm not loving is these Newton rings, but it is what it is. You know how that goes. Real nice looking cover. Next, we have... A Vengeance of Vampirilla, Volume 2, Number 20. And this is a very, very nice looking cover as well. Freaky looking lady there. <laughs> there we go. In a 9.8 as well. Alright, next we have a Red Sonia, Age of Chaos, Number 1. Real nice looking cover. There we go, in a 9.6. Again, I'm not sure, like I said, if he does send them out or not to get uh, pressed and cleaned. Um, but I don't believe I have this one here, but you know, I have a lot of slabs. I know I am over at least a thousand slabs, so I do have to organize it a little bit better. I've been trying, if you guys seen some of the old videos, I was trying to uh, set what's in the boxes, but I may have to set them off in groups now so it's easier for me to find because I've been trying to go back to storage and it's kind of tough to uh, go look the grades. This one here does have a cracked case. I guess I'm going to have to go back and look at these again because I didn't think this one had it. But it's a corner crack. It's not that big of a deal. This is one that's going to stay in the PC, so I'm not too worried about it. So Vampirilla versus Purgatory number four. And this is the Fox Virgin Edition. Maybe one day if CGC starts to get a little bit better, I will send these to get re-slabbed. But, I mean, you can kind of see it there. It's just cracked here. It's not a big deal. Like I said, personal PC. And it doesn't affect the book whatsoever. There we go. Um, see, and it just didn't go through, so it's not that bad. Now, if I would have sent these off, I would have probably, you know, tried to get them to re-slab this for me. But I am very, very happy with it. And this is a nice cover. 
So, so far, like I said, I need to go just go back through them, but I think that might be the only one because I did a quick glance and I didn't see any damaged ones. Now, I could be completely wrong and there could be more damage, but again, Grant, nothing towards you. Killer deal. You box these up amazingly. Hey, stuff happens. It even happens with CGC. So, Vampirilla versus Purgatory number four as well. This is the... Uh, Kundansky Virgin Edition. I am horrible with these names. There we go. And a 9.8 as well. Real nice covers. Alright, so we are almost done. So we have... I felt like it was a little loose in there. So we have Avengers of Emperor Volume 2, number 19. This is the variant cover B. Really, really nice cover. I like the way they try to make these look like photos. Um, what did we get down here? Some tape? Yeah, probably some tape came off. So there we go. Real nice cover. Next we have... We have a Red Sonia, Volume 5, Number 28. And this is going to be a Federici Virgin Edition. This thing is nice, 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 nice. So far, yeah. I haven't seen any of the other slabs cracked, so. Shout out, shout out again. I'm gonna keep saying it to Grant's comic, comics for this crazy deal. All right, so here we go. We have another Vengeance of Vampirilla, volume two, number 19. We have just a, another stunning, stunning looking cover. deal grant gave me on these think about it is and he doesn't charge me for shipping so he sends me a price for the books and he ships them at that price um i could not i i kid you not i could not send a book to cgc and get it for the price that grant gave me so oh man when i say i am happy i am happy 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 that i was able to get these um god these are all just amazing looking covers so we have the Red Sonia, the Superpowers, number five, Virgin Sketch Edition. I just love the hell out of Sketch Edition covers. Crazy, crazy book. And a 9.8 as well. And I don't know if anybody else would agree, but these, just these nice, glossy covers. Could you imagine trying to get these in 9.8s all the time? And, and all of these here so far, minus the two. And I know I'm coming up on some other ones, but 9.8s just amazed me. On how many 9.8s was in this deal. Um, so we got a Red Sonya, the Superpowers, number five, variant cover C. So again, nice, nice looking cover. Amazing, amazing. Look at that. Just amazing. Red Sonya. So this is probably something better than if I were to send these to CGC, I wouldn't have got this many 9.8s, nine eight, man. <laughs> this is crazy. So this is one that I was actually liking when I seen the picture. Um, because this is Street Fighter 2021 Sci-Fi and Fantasy Special number one, the Uden Comics 621. And this is a Chun-Li cover. Amazing, amazing, amazing cover. 9.8. We got the Street Fighter in the back. Just a killer looking cover. Next we have a, oh, we got two books left. And we got another Street Fighter. Uh, so far so good. Another Street Fighter 2021 Sci-Fi Fantasy Special number one, Undone Comics 2021. This is a Camerard variant cover. Another nice looking Chun Li. Oh no, this is not even Chun Li. God dang it! Um, I'm not much into the Street Fighter stuff, but this is not. This I'm gonna have to look this up and then maybe put it down here. If not, you know what? I'm not even gonna look it up. Somebody in the comments, please leave a comment down below and let me know who this character is. I have not played Street Fighter since the original one back in the '90s, so I am not a gamer for sure. And uh, yeah, Street Fighter. I was I was there when they released Street Fighter Mortal Kombat, but after the first ones, I just never played them again. 
And this one here is probably the lowest. It actually is the lowest of all the books. I'm not sure why it got this grade because the cover is amazing. Maybe the back. Uh, let me give it a quick glance. Uh, maybe the one tick there in the back, but it's not a tick. It's a pressable tick. Two, uh, maybe a color break in the front. There it looks like a small color break in the front, but we got Vengeance of Vampirelli Volume 2. Number 18, Red Virgin Edition. This is a freaking amazing cover. I can see why this would be so tough to get in a 9.8, but I'm sure they're out there. Um, but it looked like there was a small color break in here, a couple of other creases that may need to be, there you go, right there, perfect, you can see it. But 9.4 is still a great, great, great book. <laughs> Again, if I would have sent that to CGC, it would have came back more than what I paid for it. Um, and I would have been a little bit disappointed because it came back a 9.4. But I cannot knock these books for the price and for everything that came on to it. Let me do a quick screenshot because I really like these Street Fighter covers. So there we go. Like always, click, click, boom. But again... That was my video for the day. That was my unboxing. That was just amazing, amazing, amazing. Grants Comics, you outdid yourself again. I know I'm going to be seeing more stuff from you again. But just to recap, I had some freebie books here. And I'm not going to hold all these up because I'm already going into 20 minutes. But the freebie books, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I could have swore it was supposed to be more than 18, but maybe I'm uh, missing something. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 books total. Uh, I don't know why I had in my head it was supposed to be 19. Um... But yeah, 18 books. I'll have to double check that and check it with Grant. Make sure we're all on the same page here. But that is going to do it for this unboxing video. If you guys can all do me a favor, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. What do you think about this amazing, amazing haul? These were, and hopefully I don't drop them, all the 9.8s that I received from Grant Comics. And then along with a 9.4 and two 9.6s. So that was crazy. Let me know if you guys ever had any encounters with Grant, if he's ever given you guys a killer deal out there, if you guys picked anything up from him. He just does an amazing, amazing job on everything he does. He always wants to make sure that you are satisfied 100%. Thank you again, Grant. This was just a video to show all the books I got from you. But if you guys can all do me a favor, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. And please hit that little notification bell so that you guys can get notified with all the upcoming videos I have. Keep in mind, everybody, giveaways always going on. Giveaways, giveaways, giveaways. So we have monthly subscriptions. I mean, monthly giveaways and subscriber uh, subscriber pushes. So if you guys look down in the video description down below, you will see a video link. On that video link, just hashtag the comment that I put out there for you, and you are automatically entered. So easy as that. No other hus fuss. Tag this person, do that, do that. Just easy as that. I'm not even asking you to subscribe, but I would love for you guys to subscribe. But hey, you do, you don't, you're still entered in the giveaway. So like always, everybody, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys on the next one.